Okay, boys. All ready to go. As we got into the tunnel, we had a, we had a way that we would, would line up, and I was normally towards the back of the of the group, and Alan Hunter and Kevin Beat, who are two central defenders, were always at the back. Um, so we were lined up. The Arsenal players were right alongside us, and, and Malcolm McDonald, who was a centre forward for for Arsenal, he's a, such a nice guy. He turns to Alan Hunter, who's a ferocious uh, Ulsterman from Northern Ireland. He, uh, he said, oh, Alan, he said, uh, uh, the very best of luck this afternoon. And Alan Hunter turned to him and said, I'm going to break your beep leg. So I've gone, ooh, game on, <laughs> here we go. I'm looking right down the tunnel and all I could see was, was Arsenal fans. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe maybe because we're a sort of a, you know, a lesser known team, uh, Ipswich Town, you know, we're all our fans. Well. As soon as we, we got out into the daylight, if you look at the footage, you can actually see some of the players turning around because there's a wall of noise that hit you and the, the, literally the hairs on, your, on the back of your neck uh, really stood up. I'm, I'm getting tingles now talking about it. And as we came out, there was the vast majority of Wembley was blue. It was a phenomenal um, you know, life experience when you go out and you hear 100,000 people going absolutely crazy and then you've got to be somewhat cordial and be presented to Princess Alexander from the from the royal family. So it was uh, interesting. <laughs> but we, we we played with with vim, with vigor, with fight. We, we, we played to the system. Um, Arsenal had one shot on goal the whole game. Um, I hit the crossbar. Johnny Walk at the post. I think a couple of times and. Uh, culminating in, ironically, Roger Osborne, who was the bone of contention during the week. Roger Osborne got the winner in the 77th minute, 78th minute. Um, but we completely dominated the Arsenal and um, it was an absolute joy to lift the trophy. We were staggered because we were going up, it's called the A12, which is a main, main thoroughfare from London back up to Ipswich. It's about a 60 mile journey. And every single inch of that road was covered in fans, scarves, you name it, flags, everything was there. So because we were slowed down because of the traffic, we told the gaffer we need to pull into Chelsea because we need to reload. So we reloaded, got back in the bus, and eventually, uh, after a long journey, got, got to Ipswich for the uh, sort of the unveiling in front of the fans. You can hardly, well, you can't see the road, you can't see any houses. It's just absolutely a, a wash and a, a mass of people. And um, you know something that you know, even what, what was it 40 odd years ago now? It's just a, quite a remarkable um, experience that I'm glad I went through. For more, sign up now for ESPN Plus.